Hi everyone, Happy New Year. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Leaf autographed uh, mini football helmets. Eight box, random team break number three. One spot gets you two teams in this eight mini helmet break. Big thanks to this group for getting in on it. Let's double your names up. And all 32 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams. One and a three, four times. One, two, three, and four. Got Oliver down to Levi. One and a three, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and fourth and final. Oh, Jordan, you can hang out with us while you're delayed at LAX. We got Dallas down to the Cleveland Browns, who are down 10 to the Steelers. Steelers 10, Browns nothing in the third quarter. All right. Oliver, you got the Dallas Cowboys. Justin with the Titans. Charles with the Saints. Steve with the Colts and the Chargers. Charles with the Eagles, Tim with the Rams, Steve Birch with the Giants and Jags, Levi with the Ravens, Karen with the Panthers, Charles with the Niners, Justin with the Falcons, Tyler with the Packers, Karen with the Chiefs, Levi with the Bears, Tyler with the Buccaneers, Tim with the Jets, Justin with the Texans, Levi with the Steelers, Steve with the Cardinals, uh, Steve Wright with my Raiders, Jack with the Dolphins, Charles with the Lions, Steve Wright with the Bengals, Jack with the Seahawks. Levi with the Washington football team, Oliver with the Patriots, Steve with the Vikings, Levi with the Bills, Justin with the Broncos, and Levi with the Cleveland Browns. All right, let's alphabetize by team here. Tyler's happy. He's got his Packers. All right, so let's get all this on one screen right here. Okay. I'm going to pause the video. Actually, before I pause the video, remember, there's no checklist for these, so our college rules apply, or no checklist rules apply, which you've seen in the Frequently Asked Questions section of our website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So obviously, that college helmet, that player is active, so it'll go to the team he's currently on. Trevor Lawrence is on the Jags. If it's a retired player, it'll go to the team they played for the longest. All right, so if it's a college helmet of a retired player will go to the team they played for the longest according to profootballreference.com and we'll keep going from left to right on tiebreakers if necessary. We'll cross that bridge if and when we get there. All right, now with all that being said, now I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. There's a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here in this, I know it's upside down, but the eight box break, mini helmets. Let's pop this case open here. A little bit of an awkward size. We're doing, we're doing all eight boxes, right? Yeah, we're doing all eight. All right. Well, since we have a little bit of time, nothing sold out after this. So we've got a little extra time to play some Who Am I? America's favorite game where I give you the clues. And you, I, you tell me who the player is. And don't forget our no checklist or non-pro uniform rules. If they're active, they'll go to the team they're currently on. If they're inactive, they'll go to the team they played for the longest, according to profootballreference.com. All right, first helmet is this person for that team. Okay. All right. I am currently 89 years old, and I am a... Executive. Okay. I'm an American former football executive who was the vice president of player personnel in the NFL for this team from 1960 to 1988. Wow. He was with the Rams from 50, 1955 to 57. 
with the Niners from 1958 to 1959, and then was with this team from 1960 to 1988, two-time Super Bowl champion and in the Hall of Fame. Hey, Happy New Year to you too, Mark. Go to. I think this is going to be kind of tough to get. Um, he's a Dallas Cowboys executive from 1960 to 1988, so this is going to go to Oliver. Anyone remember their, uh, the director of president of player personnel from 1960 to 1988 for the Dallas Cowboys? Oh, Jack got it. Nice. Gil Brandt. You're absolutely right. There it is. Hall of Fame executive Gil Brandt. Kind of hard. The little sticker's in the way, but there's his autograph right in there. Beckett card inside. Beckett sticker on the back. Gil Brandt. 89 years old, born in, it's for Oliver, by the way, the Dallas Cowboys, born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, went to Wisconsin. I don't know what he's, what is he doing these days? I'm just part of the Cowboys ring of honor. According to Wikipedia, I don't know how updated this is, but according to Wikipedia, it says that he's a regular on uh, Sirius XM NFL radio as a commentator on Late Hits, The End Zone, and the Sirius XM NFL Tailgate Show. I don't know if he's still doing that, but yeah, some commentating. All right. Another retired, this time not an executive, an actual player. Currently 51 years old, born in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. 6'5", 320. He was an offensive tackle. Played for two teams' entire career, and he was an eighth overall pick in the early 90s. Who am I? Nicknamed Nasty. And went to Louisiana Tech. Who am I? Offensive tackle, active between 1993 and 2005. Two teams, six-time All-Pro, three-time second-team All-Pro, 11-time Pro Bowler, Pro Football Hall of Fame, College Football Hall of Famer, 1990s All-Decades team, NFL 2000s All-Decade team, part of, nice, Jack. Jack B. again, New Orleans Saints Hall of Fame and Ring of Honor. It's Willie Rofe. It's a cool-looking helmet right there, Willie Rofe. Yeah, played with the uh, Chiefs at the end, towards the end of the last few years of his career with this was with Kansas City, but I think, I think the Saints is where most of you will recognize him. And that is for Charles and the Saints. Nice Jack is two for two. Big dude, what did I say? 6'5, 320? All right, next mini helmet. A uh, active wide receiver drafted in the late first round in 2018 was a uh, was a two-time college football national champion 
First team all SEC, part of the PFWA all rookie team. Currently have 248 receptions, 3,342 receiving yards, and 28 receiving touchdowns. He's pretty good. But for 2021, he stepped away from the NFL, citing a mental health issues. So, so he took some time off for himself. But when, he, when he's on, dude's really good. 6'1", 190, went to Alabama. <laughs> yep, Justin, you got it. Justin and Jack, Calvin Ridley. And that's for you, Justin. Justin and the ATL. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Love these mini helmets. I think they're great. Alright, hopefully, hopefully he... Uh, Hopefully he's back next season. Stronger, healthier, better than ever. All right. Camera, come back. There you are. All right, here is a here is a retired offensive guard, born in Detroit, went to Michigan State, drafted in 1973, first round, late first round, 26 pick overall. Played for one, two, three, four teams. We'll check that. Played for two teams my entire career. The team that drafted me, the team that this that is this helmet is my second team, and then um, went back to the team that drafted me, and then a number of years later played for the Charlotte Rage. Six-time Pro Bowler, eight-time All-Pro, part of the 1970s All-Decade team, and part of both teams, Ring of Honor and Wall of Fame. Offensive guard between 1973 and in 1985 with a uh, he's got the same first name as me and a difficult to pronounce last name who am I There you go, Jack. Yep, it's uh, it's Joseph or Joe uh, Delemilor. Delemilor for the Cleveland Browns. That's for Levi. Classic Brown. Tell me, ooh, that's a big, big bold autograph right there, Joe. Nice, I like it. Kind of hard to get a good angle on this. Uh, right there, but there it is. There's your. Beckett sticker right there. There should be a corresponding card inside. You can see it right over there. Cleveland, this is for you. Delamelur, Delamelur, Delamelur. That's what it says on the Wikipedia pronunciation. All right, halfway through this full case break. Correct, he did. He did play for Buffalo. He was drafted by the Buffalo Bills. From 73 to 79, he played with the Bills and then with the Browns. That was his helmet there from 80 to 84. Back to the Bills in 85. And then a number of years later, in 1992, um, he went to... Uh, he, did Char he played for the Charlotte Rage. Which was an arena football league. All right. All 
All right, I'm a retired quarterback. Um, played, I'm trying, he's pretty good. Uh, what am I going to do here? I don't know. I guess I'll just give you, I'll just give you the highlights. You'll be able to figure it out. Um, played for one team, my entire 17 year career, one team, my entire 17 year career. And is a, currently a special advisor to this team as well. I was an MVP, an offensive player of the year, a comeback player of the year a nine-time Pro Bowler, a five-time passing yards leader, a three-time passing touchdowns leader, passer rating leader, 100th anniversary all-time team. Uh, I have 420 touchdowns to 252 interceptions, 61,361 passing yards, and an 86.4 lifetime passer rating. College Football Hall of Famer, Pro Football Hall of Famer, Walter Payton Man of the Year, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there you go. Jack B has got it. Oliver's got it too. Dan the Man Marino. It's a pretty nice helmet. And that goes to Jack B. There you go, Jack. Got randomized the Dolphins. Gets the Dan Marino. The Beckett sticker, the card. Classic logo right here. Very nice. There you go. Yeah, Jack, got it. What's up, Joe P? No, man. Manning played for, uh, Peyton played for two teams his entire career. I don't know if Eli played 17 season city. Next one. All right, we've got an active player here. Active player. Active wide receiver. And active wide receiver in just two seasons I've been in the league 185 receptions 2,851 receiving yards and 16 receiving touchdowns that's just two seasons that's pretty good late first round pick two time pro bowler PFWL rookie team should be pretty easy Yep, Justin's got it. Justin Jefferson is correct. Man, I thought year one, he was pretty good. There's the card right there. And you know, a lot of times with these football players, especially if you have a breakout season like that, now you got tape on Justin Jefferson and defenses can adjust, right? No. Year two has been pretty awesome as well. Minnesota Vikings, Steve Birch. Two more to go. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to play more Who Am I? A little trivia is always fun to play. We've got another eight box case of this in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. One spot gets you two teams in this eight box break. All right, back to a retired player. Um, currently 47 years old, stood 6'6", 244 in my playing career, was a defensive end slash outside linebacker, played for one, two, three teams my entire career, 
and played for the team that drafted me three different times in my career, was a third round pick in the late 90s, an NFL Defensive Player of the Year, a Walter Payton Man of the Year, two-time AFC Defensive Player of the Year, six-time Pro Bowler, an NFL Forced Fumbles Leader one season, and a different season, an NFL Sacks Leader, part of the NFL 2000's All-Decade Team, ended up with 775 tackles, 193 and a half quarterback sacks, eight interceptions, 46 forced fumbles, 29 fumbles recovered, nine touchdowns. Hall of Famer, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Born in Pittsburgh and went to Akron College. Not Cornelius Bennett. His, uh, his sister uh, is, uh, is Colin Coward's co-host. That's right. It's Jason Taylor. You think it's Miami edition? He did play for Miami. Then the Redskins for a season, back to Miami. Jets for a season, then back to Miami. Now it's obviously Jason Taylor. Dolphins edition. That's another one for Jack B. Nice one, Jack. Another Miami Dolphin. Another Dolphin legend, really. All right. Final box. Who am I? Retired, retired running back. Currently 61 years old. Once stood at 6'2", 210, which at the time, I think, the time of his playing days, I was considered really tall, if I, if I, if I remember the stories correctly. I really wasn't, <laughs> didn't really, was, was not their firsthand information, but 6'10", 210. Uh, born in San Diego, went to Lincoln High School in San Diego, went to USC. And my playing career is from 1982 to 1997. Two teams my entire career. Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP, um, NFL Most Valuable Player, NFL Offensive Player of the Year, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, NFL Comeback Player of the Year, six-time Pro Bowler, two-time rushing touchdowns leader, NFL rushing yards leader, was a national champion at USC, Heisman Trophy winner, Ended up with 12,243 rushing yards, 4.1 yards a carry, 123 rushing touchdowns. Could catch the ball a little bit, 587 receptions for 5,411 yards and 21 receiving touchdowns. College Football Hall of Famer, Pro Football Hall of Famer. And he never should have left this original team. Yeah, Kevin's got it. There you go, Kevin. Marcus Allen, Raiders edition, the silver and black. Woo! Big fan of the Marcus Allen. Never should have left the Raiders, had some issues with the owner, which has been well documented. Nice, who's got my Raiders? That'll be Steve Wright with my Raiders. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, another eight boxes in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for another, uh, another mini helmet break. Bye-bye.